Chris Lawrence, Nick Palermo. We're here in a 2015 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Convertible. Nice red leather seats. Silver exterior paint. This car has 455 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. How fast is the transmission? I mean, how many speeds are on the transmission? This is a six speed. Six yeah, seven speed. speed, I'm sorry. Seven speed. Manual transmission. And we're using the performance data recorder. <laughs> yeah. New for 2015. So how's the feel? Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah. How's the clutch feel? Is it uh, is it heavy? Is it's, it light? No, it's not too heavy. It's pretty medium. Okay. I mean, it's not too heavy, not too light. Steering feels good. On center feel feels good. How's the shifter feel? Shifter feels nice. Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, it's not like super short throws or anything, but it's but it's um, but it's crisp and it you know got okay. real positive you know engage or uh, changes. Cool. Sounds fantastic. It does I mean, that, sound great. We've got it in the, uh, the sport mode, so it's got active exhaust. It opens up the exhaust for us. It's also got a track mode. That's what it turns uh, off like. As well as an it. eco mode. Eco. <laughs> so, you know, on a, a touring mode for that kind uh, of normal driving. Yeah, like that. Actually, you know, Corvettes can be pretty economical and. In, on long haul, yeah, they actually get yeah, they get decent miles on they, highway. They do. They're they're very aerodynamic and relatively lightweight. Yep. I just laugh because I don't think I'd use. But I can't say that. It's if just, I actually owned one, I might actually. If I'm taking a cruise, it's just like I'm actually put it in the eco mode. It's just like we were talking about last week. You know, if you're if you're if you're getting really high fuel economy, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're staying in seventh gear way <laughs> too often. Okay. Where's the, uh, there it is. It's easy to drive, you know? Yeah. I could get used to this. Bye-bye. <laughs> she makes the doors, man. She makes the doors. I love it. There's so little you can do right here. You're right. This might have been very intentional. <laughs> so what do you think? Tell me some I think it's I think it's nice. You know, like you're sitting like like everything is you're sitting in it like you're supposed to in a Corvette, you right. know? Like it's just Yeah. How's that steering feel? So far so good. Like I you know, I haven't done Hard any to tell, yeah, twisty yeah. or anything, yeah. but but the steering wheel itself is nice. It's like it's fairly small, but yet it's like, you know, nice thick. It, yeah, thickly padded, you know, your, your fingers just fit in there, just perfect. The inside's pretty nice. I mean, the finishes look good. I like the real stitching. Yeah, I like that Contrasting too. The leather stitching. and everything. The leather's nice. Yeah. Carpet's good quality carpet. Yeah. Only 35% manual. That doesn't surprise me with Corvette, though. Yeah. Because, it, I mean, the thing is, is it, it is a sports car, but it makes a pretty, it makes a great GT. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's not, I mean, it doesn't have a back seat, but other than that, it's a, it's a cool GT. You know? I feel like that's the direction they were even trying to go with this version of it now, you know, was to, because, you know, it's, it, and maybe that's what, maybe that's what consumers wanted also, you know, because they were complaining about the interior. So it's almost like maybe that's what people wanted the Corvette to be. You know, yeah. not just a sports car. They wanted it to become more of a, a GT car. You well, know, look, even the Viper went the same direction, right? Same direction. <laughs> when she whispers her, hey, baby, did she say, hey, baby? I, I, 
no I idea. I think she did. <laughs> oh, she missed. Uh, yeah, Sorry. she did. <laughs> she can also go to Park Drive right here and take a right. Just take a right. Take a right somewhere, lady. I know. <laughs> oh yeah, I would have fun with this car all day long. I love the LED lights in the front. You know what you know what's super cool about this car? I mean, aside from the it's just generally pretty aside good. Aside from the noise that this thing yeah. makes. I, I mean something that, that you're not gonna get with Something that you're not gonna get with 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 other sports cars in this, in, in, you know, kind of regardless of, of uh, or a, a lot of other sports cars with this category of performance, right? Is that they make enough of these that you can get just what you want, exactly. and it's not, and you're not gonna have to go to some dealer in some three states away to find it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like if you want a blue one. You know, with black interior and a manual and a coupe, you can get that. You know, it's not like, oh, we have a dealer in New York that has one. You know what I mean? Exactly. 